Hey everybody, it's Andy Justo here again for another wine unboxing. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is my September wine unboxing. Um, and I do have to admit I kind of cheated a little bit and I needed a wine for last night's uh, dinner. Um, so I did take out uh, a special bottle um, and I will show that one to you last. Uh, but anyway, I, it's no secret belong to a wine club. I love my wine club. I've been in many wine clubs and I've never uh, found one like this one where the wines are... Uh, very uh, made with love um, they are uh, w we have wonderful winemakers in Napa and Sonoma Valley uh, I am part owner in a, in a wine uh, vineyard and I'm very proud of that uh, I've progressed here with um, my wine club uh, I've been here for two and a half years uh, and um, I hope to uh, basically retire and, and be able to do this full-time um, I can't wait uh, there's more that there's other things I'm doing as well but the wine club is very important to me I've enjoyed wine my whole life and I get four bottles delivered to my door uh, every month I love that I don't have to worry about it um, it, it comes in temperature controlled tr uh, trucks when it's uh, packed up and uh, UPS delivers it um, I get four bottles I get two red and two white it comes in a, a very well packed box. I can say that I have never had a broken bottle and I never really hear of anybody else. Um, but we take care of that if that's an issue. So anyway, we decided to, uh, I got involved in this and um, I met Rory and Tanya and uh, fell in love with the fact that they enjoyed wine and after listening to them and, and then they did this, I, I was so grateful that I was able to uh, be a part of this. But uh, here, here's the CEO, the president, and our CTO, uh, our vision. We get a card like this in every box, a uh, QR code explaining more of what we have going on. Um, it's just a wonderful club that everybody uh, enjoys the wines. It doesn't have any of the, 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 the uh, bad stuff to keep it mass produced uh, and keep it on the shelves in the liquor store. It um, doesn't matter how much money you pay in the liquor store for the bottle. You never know when it, it gets opened uh, if it's going to be a good bottle. Here, I've never opened a bad one, um, and I'm free if it doesn't, if it's something wrong with it, I can take care of that. Uh, but I've never had to, and the wines keep coming, and I've had a Syrah, and I know there's another one coming. Uh, the special one I opened the other night um, is right here. I'll tell you about that one in a little bit. Um, but let's open it up and see what I have. And uh, what I do enjoy about this wine club, is, too, is that... Um, uh, when the one the one wine is gone, a new batch is coming for another year. So they they all taste differently from year to year to year. And I actually have a bottle of the newest one um, that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, I, the last one I had was a Merlot, and this is a, a, a Lodi a Merlot Lodi. And um, I'm anxious. I do have a bottle of the other one left. I want to see the comparison on it. But Rory Rickard has his own label, and why shouldn't he? He's basically uh, passionate, and he uh, enjoys very much what he does here. Uh, so this is the Rickard Merlot, and our uh, Merlot Lodi, and I've had the liquor Merlot, uh, Rickard Merlot. This is a 2020. The other was a 2019. Uh, the labels are phenomenal. You can only get these wines here at Wine Ambassador. Um, it, it, the labels are all handmade, handcrafted. Uh, as well as, as the wines are basically, they're, they're made with love. So that is my red, and I have the other red. I'll show you in a little bit, but it's very well packed. You can't get over it. Um, you know, I don't even know if they drop it, if it would even break anything. Uh, and I like that the collapse together to make a little bit more room in my recycle bin. Um, okay, one of the whites I have here is the Parables in White. Um, again, a beautiful label with some... Uh, poetry on the side, uh, the back, very nice. This is a part of a series. Um, I've had the red, and now I'm going to enjoy the white, so I can't wait for that one. Uh, in Minnesota here, it's getting kind of cold, so I'm not sure. I might have to put that one away for a little bit until maybe this summer, or maybe I'll get another one. I'll try this one with some friends. Uh, and my last one is a Discoveries, another series, and this is a new one, Moscato. This is a Moscato, Discoveries of Moscato. Uh, this is another part of the series. The label is phenomenal again. Uh, the back, we have our QR, you have our codes here. You can uh, learn more about the wine. Um, so that's gonna be great. Uh, the last one I'll tell you uh, is, is uh, this one is, is new as well. It's a Malbec. Um, we have a contest every year um, that 
you know, whoever uh, creates, uh, has the most points in this contest gets a label. They get their label and they'll always have that label. And uh, this year, uh, Deanna Young, um, who's in Canada, she actually uh, had her label. And I was actually at the winery when they presented this to her. The excitement on her face was phenomenal. Um, but the label pretty much tells you a lot about her. This is this is her. She's she's Miss Prada, um, and I'm saying that with love. Uh, the label is beautiful, uh, and then if you look at the back, it's just even more enhances uh, who she is. Brings out everything that they created this label just for her, and they did a great job with it. Um, I did open this. It's an excellent wine, a Malbec. Um, I actually had it with um, some, some chicken. Um, it was an amazing wine, and I'm really glad I got to have it. I like Melbecks. Um, I was hoping they were going to do this as the Syrah, too, and they actually came up with the Syrah, and I can't look forward for the next one because that, that bottle's gone. Sorry to say I liked it so much. So, anyway, you can come in as a customer. Um, I would guarantee you that these bottle, these wines are more than $100. And as I said, they're not, they're, they're not mass-produced. They don't have the, they're not uh, punch uh, wines that you get in the liquor store. These are fine wines, they're boutique wines. As I said, once they, once we go through them, then the next the next round comes up. Um, they will never all taste the same. Uh, I uh, also have this as a side gig. I'm actually a, a wine snob, a Grand Cru member. I went all the way up um, because I just knew the value of these wines. I get uh, for under a hundred dollars, I get these four bottles, um, and then shipping and handling, of course. I get these four bottles every month, and I'm gonna say this is probably. Um, at least two to three hundred dollars right here, if not more, and I paid a hundred dollars for it. You can't beat the pricing, and I'm here to help you guys get to hook you up with it. I'm gonna have some. Uh, uh, I'll have uh, things in the comment for you to look at, look at, uh, learn more about the wines, um, and if you ever have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on Facebook with me, and, and I'll be happy to get a hold of you or messenger me. Uh, I believe in this wine club, and if anybody knows me well enough, they know that I'm true to my word, and um, uh, and I hope to get you, anybody involved that wants to get involved. As I said, come in as a customer. You don't have to come in for anything else as a customer. Start off with, try these wines. And then I want to know exactly how you feel about them. Um, there's nothing better. Uh, until then, I will see you in October when I get my next shipment. I can't wait to see what we're going to get in that one. Uh, you guys all take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.